there are never too many Moonbloom videos and this is my contribution. All right, let's do it. So, everyone knows the story of Moonbloom. The Moonbloom was one of three mobs on the mob vote during Minecraft Live in October 2020, but got outvoted by a bag of glowing ink. Right. There is no doubt what uh, cow it is because yellow flowers grow only on the back of the moo bloom. This moo bloom is new with tags. And uh, this cow is very soft. The materials are of high quality. Speaking of size, this is one very big cow. This is my arm and this is my moo bloom. The size of the moo bloom is really impressive. This moo bloom is huge. In my opinion, moo bloom is made of very high quality. All the details and pixels are there. And <clears throat> did I already told you that the moo bloom is soft? Yes? No? Maybe? The flowers are made of felt. The material of the flower is not the softest, but I understand why they are made of felt. Felt flowers stay upright, but over time felt flowers will sag anyway, so you should consider that. This cow was not easy to get. The moo bloom was on sale in a large US chain store. Apparently they were restocked four or five times and sold out every time. The moo bloom ended up costing me 250 US dollars or 250 euros because I couldn't get it at the time. Seems that Moonbloom has a good resale value. A used Moonbloom in good condition can be obtained cheaper of course if you find one on sale somewhere because they are incredibly rare. In conclusion, that's a cool cow and everyone should have a Moobloom in their collection. Will Moobloom ever come to Minecraft? We're keeping our fingers crossed that Moobloom will get a new chance in Minecraft because I and many others see a lot of possibilities here in terms of gameplay. Mm -hmm. At least we have a plush Moobloom. I almost forgot to tell you the measurements of the move room. This move room measures 18 inches by 7 inches or 45 centimeters by 18 centimeters. That was my review. Thumbs up. And that's it.